Karen and we are back from Florida. It's kind of warming up in New Jersey. Finally, yeah. Yeah. It's like culture shock coming back to the 25 degree mornings here. Yes. After 95 degree days down in the Keys. So we had a great time. We were in the Everglades at Long Pine Key Campground. Right. And we're going to put a link down below. And then we we stayed there for a couple of days and then we went to the Keys. Right. We went to Big Pine Key Fishing Lodge, which Big Pine Key is the island where they have the key deer, which uh, became regulars in our campsite in mm -hmm. the campground in the afternoons and evenings. Yeah, they were so friendly. They just walked around. Yeah, it was amazing. I really thought they would be very reclusive, but they're practically domesticated. We love the trip. I'm sure we'll be back again. We had a ball camping down there and we actually got to interview one couple in the Everglades. We toured their camper and they're on, look at the link down below. And then we toured one, two converted cargo campers in the Keys one motorcycle trailer which i thought was so cool and um a teardrop a custom teardrop that someone had built and there's links to all those down in the bottom they are all those separate videos so they will be on our playlist too and i believe the playlist is up here so it was a lot of fun meeting everyone interviewing everyone um that was kind of neat you agree yeah, it was a lot of fun. I enjoy uh, getting together with and talking with people on camping trips. And and we met some great people. We really did. I mean, and I think I was saying, uh, Chris, we, we kind of felt like we were we made friends with. And he so, Chris, this is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for giving us a tour. So, this is your first trip. So, any words of wisdom or anything to say to these cargo campers? Yeah. It's a, it's a huge word of thanks, actually, because everybody that contributes to this community and to this group really does, does a great job. They're not doing a disservice because everybody has something to share through their, experience, through their shared experience. This is Honey. She's such a ham, and she wants you to subscribe. We had one gentleman that uh, subscribed to our channel and gave us a lot of great feedback, and I loved his camper. Okay. So I decided, why don't we put up, it, it's, I think I called it a YouTube spotlight on campers or something. And it's other YouTubers that have a conversion. They don't have a whole channel, so they may only have, a, you know, a couple hundred uh, views or something. And I thought, well, why don't we put some of them up on our channel? So here's the deal. I thought, if you interact with us, subscribe to our channel share our page, something, you know, like that, and correspond with us, we will pick a few a week, maybe, to spotlight, okay? So I have a playlist that I added one, and I'm going to be adding a clip of him right up here, um, because, like I said, it looks like a log cabin. It is very cool looking, I thought. I really like that trailer. So we are going to continue to spotlight some people's YouTube some people's campers even though we haven't seen them in person and and interviewed them but just through through YouTube so again if you subscribe to us let us know you know, hey can you spotlight my uh that you want to be spotlighted and like I said we'll pick a couple each week or so and try to see if we can put them up one of the things that we we get looks at a lot well you we get looks anyway because we're weird, but we get we get looks with the camper itself because it's a little cramper, but especially when we're holding the boats on the top. So a lot of people were asking and they were curious how he did that. So the next clip, Rick is going to walk us through. I actually videoed us putting the boats up on there, which is kind of comical. And um, you can see uh, close ups of his system that he will walk you through on how he put those boat racks up and that's upcoming. Rick, 
Drink yourself, then. All right, we've had a lot of requests for information about the roof rack. And I think the reason being that the roof rack is not really that visible from the side when you see these kayaks up on top of the trailer. The rack was just simply four two by fours and they're not pressure treated because I was afraid the pressure treated would twist up too much up there in the heat. So they're four two bys. I wrapped them with uh, flashing material to waterproof the ones on the top of the trailer. I mounted those to the sides of the trailer using these T brackets, which are a Simpson bracket. So the two by fours, none of the roof rack is screwed through the roof of the trailer. Everything is attached to the sides. And then the cross members are attached to the rails using three inch screws. And then I added carpet on those cross members and D rings to uh, put my straps on. And so it's very simply constructed, very inexpensive, but very effective. I have certain regrets, one of which I think I, I should have put more lighting in. For instance, all the lighting in this trailer is 12 volt only. I have no 110 lighting in here whatsoever. Um, I would have, in retrospect, put in some 12 volt sockets so you could plug cigarette lighter type accessories that you would normally use in your vehicle into the trailer direct. Um, those kind of things. Uh, and now to try to run additional wiring once all the walls are finished is problematic unless you run it underneath or I take my wiring chase back apart in order to fish no, things through. No, no, no. I have a better idea. What's that? So this trailer was your work trailer. It's 6 by 10. No, 6 by 12. 6 by 12. I really want a 7 by 14 UV nose. Right. So we can like give this to David or somebody or, or sell it. I would really like to do another one. But what you were saying that you lamented was that we did not film all the construction detail by detail. And if we get a new one, hint, hint, and do another one, a 7x14 Venos, we're going to document every detail of of the, uh, the construction. Because I think that's something that we really wish we were going to do. It's, but how difficult is this for a novice to do this? The majority of it is common sense. And here and there, a, a fairly steady hand. Um, I used to tell my construction crews, young guys when they started in my construction crews, that, that carpentry is 95% common sense and the other 5% is stuff you learn over time. So, like making the countertops up, learning to do for Micah work and whatnot. It's nice if you have somebody show you or you look at a video first. Because you actually made that countertop. Right, right? I did the countertops with, uh, I used plywood instead of particle board. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the, there's that sort of thing. I did all my own plumbing and electrical in here because I've had the experience. That was one issue that we did have in Florida, was we usually pull it with your two-ton van. My one-ton yeah, man, I have an E350 Ford. And uh, that's kind of in the shop. And so we're pulling it with um, his Explorer. Which only has a bumper hitch on it. So there's no stabilization whatsoever. And it's a little light for the, the trailer, although it's within, um, within specs. So we got a little fishtail out of the Explorer from time to time on the trip down and back. Yeah, it was a little too much wiggle for me, um, but, you know, it, and if you watch our video, which, which we'll link below to on our trip, um, we had a little problem with a breakdown. Jackson. You're Matt, right? We're I in am. Jacksonville? You're in Jacksonville. Well, thank you for fixing Dora. No problem. Dora's Can you tell him to buy a new car? Dora's burnt. No, he just spent 500 on Dora. Why oh. would he do that? Okay. Thank you, sir. Oh my God, I've learned so much about YouTube. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It is taking a lot of time. Fortunately, I'm out of work right now, so I have time to do it. I mean, who knows? Uh, maybe 
I'll be able to support myself through YouTube if we get enough subscribers. I, I don't know. I doubt that. But um, eventually I'll have to go back to work. So I have the time right now to put into this. So um, I think we're getting more structure of what we want to do with the channel. Mm. Starting to hone in on a few ideas at any rate. So we, the other thing I think we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be going live. And that's going to be with you mostly because uh, I'm just cute and quirky. You're the one with all the wisdom and experience. So the questions are going to be for you. So we're going to be going live um, soon. And I'm going to change the name for this YouTube channel. Um, I think it's long. Half the time I can't remember it. Um, so I, I don't know everything that's involved in that. I don't want to get... Uh, a ton of followers and then have to change it. I'd rather do it sooner than later. Um, but just know that we may be changing it and we're kicking around a couple ideas for that. Uh, yeah, we're going to call it psst. Why psst? It's short and easy to remember. Yeah. How do you spell psst? P-S-S-S-S-T. -S -S I think there were too many S's. P-S-S-S-S-T. -S 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 See, I did too many. We're not going to do that. Um, but I am thinking of some names. I also just started a Facebook page, so we're starting to get a following. Um, it's a lot of fun. So our upcoming trip in a few weeks is going to be to Delaware. Delaware Seashore State Park. And that is mainly going to be our... We're, we're going to go fishing for striper. Because I've heard about how fun it is to catch striper, but I've yet to catch one. I think the striper to me is like, it's a, as elusive as Bigfoot. I don't even know if it exists. Okay. So I want to, I want to catch me one of those. So, um, we're going to be going there. I guess that's right on the beach. I don't know. We haven't been there. You got, if you've been there, if it's a good place or whatever, let us know. Um, you can put that in the comments. Honey will be going with us because she was kind of unhappy that we didn't, we didn't take her to Florida, but, um, we take her as much as we can. Um, Honey was not allowed to, to go with us and stay in the Keys at the campground that we were at because it's right on the edge of the wildlife preserve where the key deer are uh, protected and they don't want dogs harassing them or causing them stress. So unfortunately, the, it was the campground's policy that they did not allow pets. So, mm -hmm. But she will be going this time. So that's what's coming up, the Delaware trip. Make sure you look below in the description. We'll have a links to a lot of the stuff, um, the, the places that we, uh, we've been to, some of the place, uh, campers that we toured and everything. And we're going to try to figure out what our schedule is going to be. Um, I'm going to call this an episode. So we're going to try to do, I do a lot of frequent uploads just short little videos and stuff but this part where we sit and talk I'd like to do um, I'm hoping to do it weekly and then we're hoping to get you on live I don't know if that's going to be weekly or not we w that's going to be dependent a lot upon your your feedback so let us know what you want to say and the battery level on my pacemaker he doesn't have a pacemaker don't see you're trying to get pity <laughs> you're, he's trying to get pity views <laughs> If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel. And if you want to be notified as soon as we have new videos available, hit that little bell up there. Thanks.